We're within the 20 kilometer or 12 mile exclusion zone in Fukushima and this is the area that residents were moved away from in the immediate aftermath of the disaster in 2011. Now you can see there's a fair bit of activity behind me, uh, cars are allowed in, residents are allowed back during the daytime now because the radiation levels here have lowered but they're still not allowed to stay the night. The government's still worried about uh, accumulative radiation so people aren't allowed to stay here 24 hours a day. Now, what you can see by the side of the road is the cleanup operation that's ongoing in different areas of Fukushima. And you can see what a painstaking operation this is. They're basically having to take away the top layer of the soil, which has radiation in it. They're also uh, cutting back the grass. They can, you can see that they're combing through uh, the bushes as well. It's a, it's a colossal task to try and decontaminate this area. And just a bit uh, further down, you can see there are thousands upon thousands of bags where this soil is uh, being collected and where it's being stored. So not only is there a problem with where to store this highly radioactive water from the plant, but of course in the surrounding areas, where do you store this highly radioactive soil as well? So this is just another problem that the government is having to cope with. And of course, for people who live here, it has been very difficult. They still don't know when or even if they will be able to come back to this area. And uh, this is really symbolic of what we're seeing in and around Fukushima. This was a very busy train line before. You can see how it has been uh, overgrown by plants. It's clearly not been used since 2011. And this is part of the areas that they're trying to clean up as well. But it's just symbolic of what has happened to the Fukushima area. Paula Hancock's CNN, Fukushima, Japan.